I'm Dr. Paul Anderson. I'm the Chief Academic Officer at the Brigham. I'm Dr. Ann Woolley. I'm an infectious disease physician at the Brigham. Dr. Lindsay Baden. I'm an infectious diseases specialist and investigator here at the Brigham. The pandemic took us all a bit by surprise, given its magnitude and speed. Where our hospitals are full and we have to treat patients for an infection we've just learned new things about, how do we actually pivot? Because this has not just affected infectious disease physicians, this has really impacted our pulmonologists and our critical care doctors, our cardiologists, and has also had such an impact on our surgeons. The Brigham community was terrific in how it responded by coming together and the need for a vaccine was obvious early on. And what the Brigham does so well is it combines its clinical expertise with its research and the breadth and strength of researchers. And our community and my research group, which develops vaccines, we came together uh, under the leadership of the NIH, Dr. Tony Fauci at uh, NIAID, brought together to try and define countermeasures and develop a vaccine for COVID. Lindsay Baden, one of our experts in infectious diseases at the hospital, took on a major role in leading a national effort in testing the Moderna vaccine, which is an RNA-based vaccine, the first of its kind. We had the expertise, the clinical trials, the research space, regulatory oversight in research management, in laboratory processing, in diagnostics. This was all compressed from a 10 to 15 year process to a 10 month process and was rapidly done in carefully choreographed manner so that results could be available that immediately triggers the next phase without any time delay, given the urgency. We knew we were in a pandemic. We didn't have time. And all the logistics that are involved to actually implement a trial, you need to already have that in place. To engage community health centers to participate in the research, to ensure that in the conduct of these studies, we engage the broad community impacted by COVID to ensure that diverse communities understood this research was going on, that they could participate in it, and that it had a broad benefit to all of us. You know, we always try to uh, work together uh, between the, the Brigham, the Mass General, Harvard Medical School. But with this crisis, I think we've come together in a way which we never had before. And, and, and I think that they were able to uh, understand how to diagnose the disease and, and, and develop new ways to, to treat it. From nursing, to respiratory therapists, to physicians, we were all one integrated team figuring out how to care for patients in the setting where we did not fully understand the pathogen. And that sense of community was truly remarkable and the sense of teamwork. None of us will ever forget. This is not just about COVID-19. This is about focusing on COVID-19 while thinking about how do we create systems so that we are only in a better position to be able to conquer the next one that comes down the road.